Welcome back YouTube fam. I'm so excited for this video today. I have another relationship reading for you. This is a timeless reading. So if you found the message or the message found you, that means there is something here for you to hear. My intention is to give you confirmation and or bring clarity to your situation. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for another viewer. We're just going to get started with the dice. I am really digging these Astro dice. Again, thank you to the person that sent them to me. I won't say your name for privacy, but these were sent to me as a gift, as a tip. These two, my root, shout out to you. The runes were also a gift as a tip as well to uh, a couple of the people that I did readings to. So thank you guys again. Shout out to you. So let's get started with the dice. And right off the bat, I'm feeling like there's a sense of infidelity. So if you are in a relationship and there is some infidelity going on, this is the reading for you. This is from the perspective of the cheater, the cheating party. And this is actually a good sign. This is actually a really good sign. So we have the planet of Saturn showing what is going on. What is going on? Pla uh, the planet of Saturn talks about learning. This was like a mistake that the person made and they kind of feel punished. They have either been punished by you or punished by themselves or had instant karma and was punished by the universe. Like they went out, did the deed and then instantly got a flat tire, something like that. Okay, because Saturn definitely talks about uh, punishment. Okay, then we have Virgo. Virgo is a sign of being overly critical, overly uh, analytical. So this person has thought about it and thought about it and thought about it over and over again. We have the ninth house. The ninth house talks about thinking, philosophy, going on journeys, but journeys in the mind. Okay, oh my gosh. This person, oh my goodness, I'm not going to condone this in any way. You cheated, you made a mistake, and a lot of times when people cheat, they just don't even feel sorry. They don't feel remorse. It's like, hey, whatever, they did it, they're going to keep doing it. That's just how they are. But this person, this person has thought about it and has rethought about it and has thought it, and they have punished themselves. Okay, or if this is a punishment from you, they have been sufficiently punished is what I'm seeing here. And oh my goodness, that is so crazy. That Saturn showing up. Oh my God, Saturn is like the ultimate. Oh, look, I cut the deck. Saturn is like the ultimate punisher. It's like the father figure that just comes in. You got an F on your report card. You know dad's going to see it. You're going to get your butt tore up and then you're going to be grounded for the rest of the school year. That's what Saturn feels like, okay? And so that's what I see here. So the, the person, the cheating party feels like they are an upstanding person now, okay? And the person that they cheated on you with they're not even looking at that person anymore. You see how uh, the Queen of Wands is in reverse. And funnily enough, the Queen of Wands is the side chick. <laughs> if you were doing a spread and you wanted to know about the side chick and she pop out, trust me. Trust me. There is someone lingering around, okay? But in reverse, it's like, he or she isn't even looking at that party anymore. They have thought about it. They have thought about it and they have been severely punished. Okay. Wow. All right. That's good, I guess. Bad that you did it. Absolutely horrible that you did what you did, uh, cheating partner. But I'm glad that you're over it now. You know what I mean? That's great. All right. So let's get some more information. So let's look at the, the future of the relationship because I know that when there is pettiness going on, the five of swords talk about people that are arguing and petty, just, just petty, petty, petty drama for no reason. It's hard to get to a place of love. Uh, the Empress talks about a place of love and peace and it's really hard to get there from a petty situation. So we are going to see what is the outcome of this relationship. We're gonna keep it short and sweet because we already know that the cheating party feels horrible, okay? Feels absolutely horrible. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet with the tarot and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull a rune. 
Yes, I'm gonna pull a rune. Yeah, let's let's cap it off with a rune. So, what is the outcome of this relationship if they stay together? Let's do three cards. My ears are itching right now. Literally itching. <laughs> oh, that is so great with the magician. I love that. I love that. The magician is a good card. Let's see. Let's see. What is the outcome of the relationship? Okay, I do like that. I do like that. This is great. Let me clarify uh, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Let me clarify that real quick. But so far, this looks really good. Clarify the, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. So it looks like in the beginning, because of the cheating, because of the infidelity, there is going to be some distrust. Some mean words going back and forth. Um, the Knight of Swords is someone who says whatever's on their mind, lashes out. Okay, the Knight of Swords lashes out. There's going to be some dissatis dissatisfaction. There's going to be some feeling of hurt, some feeling of mistrust. The, all the cups that I gave to you, you betrayed me. So you're still going to have that in the back of your mind. I understand that. That's going nowhere. That's going nowhere. So if you guys stay together, you're, you're always going to know and remember that he or she betrayed your trust. That's always going to be there. However, with the magician, with the magician, I love that. The magician shows great communication, but it also is uh, ruled by Mercury. And so is the Virgo um, dice here. This is also ruled by Mercury. So the fact that we have double Mercury coming up shows communication. It shows that you guys have to work on the communication. Communication is a two-way street. So if there's something that you're thinking about, you can't expect your partner to just know it. <laughs> you can't expect your partner to just know what you're thinking or what you're feeling and then lash out at the partner for not understanding what you're thinking. You get what I mean? You can't expect people to just be psychic and have ESP. Like I said, um, if you guys can work on the communication and keep that communication a two-way street, like like the magician is pointing up and down. If you keep it a two-way street, then there's room for really good commitment and connection. The Hierophant. I love the Hierophant in uh, relationship readings as well because it either talks about proposals or marriage, commitment, great commitment, or it talks about you guys getting in a place that is setting you up for that, such as marriage counseling, okay? Such as seeking people that'll help you help the relationship, seeking other couples that have been through similar things as you that are thriving, seeking out people and things like that because the Hierophant talks about great commitment. So I really love that, especially with the uh, magician, which talks about making things happen, putting in the work. You got to put in the work, honey. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. And a lot of the work starts with communication, communication. But we still have that knight of swords. You're still going to um, lash out every now and then when you feel hurt, when you feel depleted. When you feel depleted, you're going to lash out. And that's just something that you have to know going forward and prepare yourself for. Know that going forward and prepare yourself for it. Hey, how did this get to number eight? Wasn't this on nine? <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah, it was on nine. Come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. So I love that. So um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. If this person cheated on you, they are remorseful. They're remorseful. Um, they're, they're remorseful. Cut the deck. Cut the deck. Uh, pass hurt. But we have that in reverse. So it's a, a healing, a getting over it. The Six of Cups talks about 
forgiveness. It talks about an apology. This person has thought about it over and over and over. They are sorry. They are ready to move on. They are ready to move on. They are ready to move past it. Okay. They are ready to move on. They are ready to move past it. Every time that you bring it up with the Knight of Swords in reverse, every time you're upset and you bring it up, it like really jabs them. Like it really just just jabs them, especially with the Saturn. I feel like this person has suffered immensely, <laughs> you know? And that's what you get, you know? That's what you get. That's what you get. But um, yeah, they are sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it uh, short and sweet. Cut the deck. We have King of Cups, like an emotional wreck. Someone who is... Uh, emotional, um, not knowing where to put their feelings, things like that. Then we have the five of cups, getting over it, getting over it. This could be you or the partner, um, unable to, uh, control the emotions, but then the five of cups in reverse shows getting over that. And that's beautiful. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love that. I really do. Look at that. We have, again, I'm going to end the reading. Uh, well, let's just get a rune and then we'll end the reading because tarot I could do for years and years and years. I could just sit here and just keep going. But the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords in reverse, it's going to get better. You know, you guys are going to get on the upward swing of things. So allow yourself to get past the hurt. If that means that you need to see counseling, then so be it. Okay. So be it. But I do see getting past that pain, getting past that hurt, especially with the Three of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. That is just absolutely beautiful. That is just gorgeous. Okay. Okay. That is gorgeous. And then we have Saturn here. The Punisher. Saturn the Punisher. <laughs> this person has been punished enough. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I love that for, for you. I love that for you going forward, all right? Let this video be a uh, peace of mind to you that the person who did this heinous thing to you does feel remorse. Um, the lines are open for communication with the magician. The lines are open for communication, meaning if you sit down with this person and say, hey, let's just talk about it. Tell me why you did it, what caused you to do it. Just like open, just let it all out. Just let it all out. That's what I see. Just allow things to be said. Allow things to be said, even if it's going to make you unhappy, just to be done with it. Just so you could put it to bed and be done and move on and move on because the wheel of fortune is absolutely great okay that's moving on the upward swing of things okay okay especially i love this i'm just going to put that there all right let's end with a rune if this reading is resonating with you go ahead and give me a thumbs up like this video, make sure that you subscribe. And if you want, go ahead and leave a comment below as well. Let's get a room. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one, I don't know if you see it. <laughs> that one popped out. So that's what we're going to take. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use this book here for the runes because I don't know what these runes mean yet, okay? I love them, but I can't remember them all. Okay, so keyword for the rune, competition, fiery feelings, challenges, passion, career, success. This came in reverse, right? This came in reverse. So this is telling me there shouldn't be a competition. You know what I mean? Fiery feelings, let down those fiery feelings. So if you're angry and fired up because of the infidelity, uh, I get it. I get it. But in reverse, this is saying you could stand down a little bit. Okay. You could stand down a little bit. The fiery feelings that you have, you could put that to bed. 
Okay, so these runes, very nice touch. Love that. Uh, if this reading resonated with you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you want a personal reading or if you want to leave a tip, all of that information will be in the description box below. Please check that out. I love you guys so much for watching until the end. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.